What's up guys? It's Drew again with Drew Does Trucks. We have just arrived at our campsite. We're here above Virginia Beach and I had questions on some of the groups I'm on. People are asking how to level your camper the most quickly and efficiently way once you get to a campsite. I'm going to try and keep this video short. So the first thing you do is back into a site and I'll show you two things that I've done to my camper that make it much easier to level. We back into a site and I have a large stick on level. This one's from Campco. You can get them from like a dozen different manufacturers. Um, you want to level your camper and then stick that on so it's level. But this level shows you, I can look in my rear view mirror and see that this site is low on this side. So I know when I back in that it's going to need leveled. The other level that I put on this is a four-way bubble level. And I'll show you how I use that in just a second. Um, so we know that this campsite is going to be low on our driver's side. So we come back to our driver's side, which needs built up. And I'm using these Lynx levelers that they sell at Walmart. Campco sells a similar product. Um, almost every towing man manufacturer has very similar products. So what you do is you build your system next to where your tires will be. So I've backed into the position that I want to camp at. I know where my bumper's at. I know where I am side to side. So we build our system out next to our wheels. This particular setup's a little more complicated because we're a little close to these um, these timbers here but so we'll mark this and those are exactly where they need to be and you can go ahead and, and take a finger and just draw like where they need to be if because normally they'll be on the ground you'll just slide them over so in this case because we are pretty far off level as you can tell from the gauge I've built two um, two stacks up which I think will be enough if not this system's very modular so it's very easy to add a couple more blocks we carry four of these which so far has been enough to level everything we've needed leveled. All right, so we the camper is where we want it to be, which means the truck is where it needs to be when the camper is where it needs to be. So I'll kick two divots right here, um, or you can use a rock or anything you have in your truck. You just wanna mark the bottom of where your front and rear tire will be. And usually I'll use my front tire and I'll show you why. So what we're gonna do is we get back in our tow vehicle. That's, what's that, bud? I don't know. Okay, it's just a tent peg. Watch out, I'm gonna pull the camper forward, okay? So we're gonna pull forward just far enough to clear those levelers, which should be about that far. It'll be the length of the duels on your truck. And what I'm using as my gauge is my little mark that I made in the ground. So then we're gonna come back. We've made our marks and we've built out our system. And then we're just gonna slide the system right down into our tire tracks and line it up with these marks that we made before. And this is nice sand. It shows the tire tracks really well. So there you go. And I built a little ramp profile into these. That's how they're strongest is with stack like Lego bricks. That's also gonna help the tires roll up over them easier. Um, if you want an even easier thing, you could put another block in the middle that you could then take out, but I think this will be fine. And when we come back up to the front, I'm going to get in. And because I put those divots in the ground, I know this is where my rear tire needs to be. And I know this is where my front tire needs to be because I've made these divots. So all we're going to do is back up. We're going to back up until we hit those divots. And I'll show you how easy that is. So, because I made those divots in the ground or marked where my front tire was going to be, all I had to do was stick my head off the driver's window. I can easily and immediately see right when we're back with the camper where we wanted it. And when we come back and look at our tires, you can see that they are directly on top of our leveling system. Exactly where we want them. We didn't go back too far because we're not using any chocks back there. I'm using X chocks on this. 
Then we come around and check and we are much closer to level. We could go one more brick, but this is close enough to level that we can kind of straighten it out with our stabilizing jacks. You need This is the point where you need to have your trailer chalked. So we're using X chalks, which is a recent purchase that really, it really does seem to make a big difference in how much rocking motion we get. But we've used traditional plastic chalks for years and they work just fine too. So um, you do have to keep these lubed so that they're easy to turn by hand, slide them into your tires, and then they, they uh, have this nice little adjustable ratchet. And that works just like a regular ratchet. You tighten these up and you give them a little shake. And you don't have to go crazy. You don't want to like bend your chalk or your suspension, but you just want to make sure they're not moving. And the way these work, if one, the harder one tire tries to push, it digs into the other tire. So they're much more effective than a regular chalk where the harder it tries to push, the quicker it'll kick it out. And I go ahead, I have two wrenches, so I just go ahead and set this on the backside so it's there when we break camp. So when we come up here, I'm gonna use my electric trailer jack to go ahead and lift my coupler up off the, the truck. And depending on your camper setup, it's, it can be best to leave your truck plugged in so you're getting 12 volts to the jack just to give it a little extra power. So once it drops off, we're gonna go ahead and pull our truck out of the way. All right, so we went ahead and moved our tow vehicle out of the way so that the coupler's not in the way. And then we look at our four-way here because the first thing we're gonna level now that we've got the camper leveled side to side, our gross leveling, is our front to back. So you'll have to find a level spot on your camper to stick this four-way. For us, that turned out to be this flat spot behind the coupler. We'll go ahead and raise this up until we see that start to move. There we go, see that start to move? So on this particular camper, I know that right there when that starts to move, our camper is gonna be level. So now that we have that set up, then it's time to adjust our side to side jacks. So we know from this level and from this that we're still just a little low on this side. So it may seem counterintuitive, but the first thing we're gonna lower are our jacks on the, on the high side. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, so I went ahead and used the rest of my Lynx levelers. Um, you can use, you can build a lot of different shapes with them, but if you're on sand, like we're on sandy gravel here, putting a double row at the bottom helps build a better base, which makes it more stable, especially in soft soil conditions. I use a really cheap, crappy old Ryobi Impact that I don't use um, in my garage anymore. I just keep it with the camper and I use that for these. They tell you never to use an impact on them, but I've never had any problems. And it just makes it so much faster. Once we get it down, we do our fine adjustment. And I'm gonna do this side, this is our high side. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do that until it starts taking weight off the suspension. There we go. That's all we wanna do is just take a little weight off of our trailer suspension to keep it from being as bouncy. Then we're going to come around to the back, to our high side on the back. And adjust that, so it's dead center. And again, we're just taking a little weight. This is our high side. So the reason we do the high side first is that once we move to our low side, we can go ahead and crank it down. And that's going to level the camper and it's also taking the rest of the weight off of this and it's basically um i don't know how well this will make sense let me put this one down. so as we lower these jacks it's cantilevering the weight it's picking these picking the weight up off of this suspension assembly and loading it back on those jacks And you don't want to go crazy building your systems out and build them all the way up. These jacks actually, um, they're very interesting. Because of the way they provide a mechanical advantage, the closer they are to vertical, the more weight they can push down with, with less effort and with less strain. 
So the closer, um, the further down these, uh, the further down these are able to go without hitting your system, the more weight they're able to bear. I've also found, however, that the more further down you put them, the they can be a little more rocky. So now that we've stabilized it, we're going to come back and check our level. So after adjusting our low side up, we recheck our gauge, and we are really, really close to level on this. Um, for this particular camper, that's going to be just about perfect. You can see here, we're back in the bubble. Our bubble's inside the lines. Um, you're not going to get it perfect. Um, not with manual stabilizing jacks. You're going to encounter a wide variety of different campsites with different soil conditions. And we could sit here and monkey this thing around all day, get it perfectly level. And once we put the slide out and the awnings out and we get a rain tomorrow, the soil might settle a little bit and it'll be just exactly right here. And you're not going to come back and adjust it every day. But this is a, going to be a nice camping experience for us. All right. So we've got our more ride steps flipped down with two uh, links below them. That just helps keep the steps level and keeps them from digging in. And then I pulled a ratchet strap out of our cargo area. It was used to hold our bikes down. And I'll run it to the C-channel on the base of these more ride steps. Run it back to the camper itself. This camper was upgraded with the more ride steps that originally had old flip down steps. So they're still in the way, but they give you something good to ratchet to. And once you ratchet this down, like typically when you step on these steps, they'll bounce a little. As you can see, these are rock solid, which also makes them safer for the kids or if you have dogs. So that's it. We are sitting level. We've got our slide out out. We're getting ready to put our awning out and we're gonna have a nice comfortable stay here at the beach. So thank you guys for watching. If you like videos about campers, I've been making a lot of them. Like, share, subscribe, it helps me out. Let's me know you like the videos. And happy camping, guys. I'll see you on the next one.